Yeah, you know, let's talk about Sh Shadur Sanders. I, I think it's a little bit aggressive to go with Shadur Sanders that high. I, I mean, I'll just keep it as simple as that. I, I think that Shadur Sanders really showed us what he could be, especially when everything around him was so inconsistent. And the offensive line play was bad. There were There were so many hurdles that he had overcome that I think he did a really good job of overcoming. But like, come on, man. We it's kind of hard to put a guy on a on on a on that high on a list. I think it's fair to put him at like four or five, but number three feels feels a little high when he hasn't really won anything. Uh, that's not necessarily true. I mean, he didn't even win the uh the celebration bowl. <laughs> they lost yeah, that. But, too. It's, it, but he still went stupid. It's not his yeah. fault that his defense sucked. We we yeah, gotta stop blaming court, we we gotta stop blaming quarterbacks for sucky defenses. Okay, like we we can't do that. And by what, the way, yeah, by, can, like, it's not like Cam Ward was you know had a great a super talented elite team around him. He's still on mine, but you know what happened? Neither did Cam uh, uh, Shador Sanders. But you know what Shador Sanders had bet more than Cam Ward less turnovers. By the way, with the worst roster, so. I mean, I have Cam Ward, Cam Ward in my top five, so I don't. I, I will get to him in a moment. Joe, you talk about traits all the time. I think that this kid from a football IQ is on a different level than most. You want to know why I put him above mo other quarterbacks, even if they are around the same talent. Even though I think he's got a good arm, I think he's mo mobile in the pocket. He makes just ridiculous throws. Joe, his football IQ is insane, and. I, obviously, with his dad being who he is, it makes it insane. I like great decision makers. And I think that, like, Joe, remember the TCU game as an example. Remember that last drive. The decisions that he makes week in, week out, day in, day out, play in, play out, shows me that the kid has the ability. I got to be real with you. I, if you asked... On off record, who would you want, Shador Sanders or Jackson Dart? I guarantee you that Lane would say Shador Sanders. No, because stop. Come on. Joe, Joe you – All right, I'm not going go, there. <laughs> Joe, you better go back and watch Jackson Dart. There have been multitudes of games where they have lost because he's made not just bad decisions, he's made horrific decisions. I'm talking about game – crippling decisions let me give you one you talked about Alabama earlier remember when they got a punt blocked and they got it at the one right and Alabama couldn't score and, and Ole Miss takes over and they got the ball going down the field and he throws a pick okay like every time that he is put in a nut cutting situation there's one okay. thing that I know J hold on Jackson Dart is not going to make the play let me give you another one wait, remember, wait I want to I want to. Can we finish with Shadur Sanders first? I want to. Like oh, we always do. Okay. I, I know. I understand. I I want it. I want to make it easier for when we when I pick this. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I right. want to get to. I want to get to Jackson Dart in a second. I just don't want to like okay. go back and forth. But that is why, though, because of his high football IQ mm -hmm. and his decision making, I put him above more. Now I have Dylan Gabriel up there. Dylan Gabriel is not more talented than any of these dudes. But what does he do? From a college quarterback standpoint, Joe, we see this all the time. What do college quarterbacks do? When you are a really good decision maker, you make plays and your team wins. That is what Shador Sanders is. He's not going to always get fooled like some of these other guys because he's been around it his whole life. That's why I put him there. Now, I told you to start the show. He's got a shit or get off the pot for me, too. This is very hit or miss. I am taking a big risk on this. I say big risk on this kid. I am taking a big risk because I think he they take that next step up to what they can take. But, Joe, he quadrupled their wins from a year ago. They quadrupled their wins. And he was, it's by the way. say when you win one game. <laughs> Joe, this is Colorado we're talking about. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Like, I, I mean, he was what won them football games. Remember when we went to sleep and Colorado State was down by 20? He was the reason they won. He was legitimately the reason they won. So, uh, okay, I, I don't give two shits. I, I mean, I don't get, I don't get Josh Allen losing multiple games in Wyoming. When you're able to put a team on your back, regardless of who's around you, that's impressive. So to just add in here, um, he's number five for me. So I'm not a Shadur Sanders hater. I, I, I think that 
he has done enough to prove to me that he is going to be a successful NFL quarterback. And, and I agree with the one thing that you pointed out. That's the thing I love the most about him is I think that he might be the most – I'm trying to think of the way I want to – the football IQ way of you, you phrasing it is NFL perfect. Ready, but... No, no, that's not the way that I'm going. Actually, NFL ready is true, but he is not the most experienced, but rather the most cerebral for – how much he understands and knows about the game. He is so easy and natural with the way that he approaches his decision-making. He's one of those guys where everything is melting down around him, and he still finds ways to make plays, deliver the ball in his hands of his playmakers. I'm curious to see how new offensive coordinator, how that situation is going to look, if that affects anything, but I do not think that it will because, again, he is a brilliant, brilliant decision-maker. His accuracy, I would argue, maybe is the best amongst these guys. I just, at a certain point when we're talking about a list like this, there's a, there's a couple of things that I point to. It's the traits, it's the statistical success, and it's your team's on-field success. I, I think that if they were at least 500 last year, a little bit over 500, I'd be with you. I'd be saying, put this guy at number three. You, and I know he got banged up. That's un, That's unfair to him. I I I I understand that. I completely understand that. But I think that there are, are are other quarterbacks in the country who deal with bad defense that doesn't support them. And it, it's not completely his fault that, that they're not able to win games. But at a certain point, I just don't feel good about putting a guy who was four and eight last year higher than five or four. Where is he going in the draft next year? At least top five. Okay. So with that being said, okay, I'm not I'm not going to take away from him that Colorado is a dumpster fire and they're trying to figure things out. You know what else I'm not going to do? I'm also not going to put his dad's mistakes and what he does in the portal and how toxic things can be there because I mean, Joe, he was throwing to freshmen. I mean, Omarion Miller was one of their top receivers. The kid I know for a fact cuz I saw him in high school, the kid at, at most is 165 pounds. I mean, talented young man, but he's having to ele- – here's what I think that he does more than th- – that nobody gives him credit for. He elevates everybody around him. Yeah, and I agree with that, and I support I, that claim completely. And I just think that there are other quarterbacks on this list or in college football that you can't say that about. Well, okay. I, I don't. It, it, it's it, honestly, it is kind of stupid reasoning why I, I I'm not willing to put him higher. But like the, it is a stupid reason. But wait, wait, but you do you understand where I'm coming from? I, right? I do. You even you even you even said it. It's very hit or miss with a guy like this. It's risky to rank him high because at a certain point, yes, he elevates everything around him. Yes, the, he helps improve the offense, and the can reason why you, they succeed is why? because of him. Bet online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code Believe. That's B L E A V for fifty percent off your first deposit that is a 50 percent welcome bonus bet online where the game starts